the Alfred Mann Institute for Biomedical Engineering at the University of Southern California is developing a minimally invasive platform technology for sensing various chemical and cellular states in the human body. It is called the sensal or sensory cilium because it looks like a hair follicle. An optical fiber only slightly thicker than a normal hair can be injected into the skin through a very fine gauge needle and left in place for one to three months. When it is time to take a reading, the free end of the fiber is slipped into a self-aligning connector to a handheld reader. The reader sends excitation light down the fiber and measures the fluorescence coming back from the chemical sensor. The real magic comes from the nano-engineered chemical matrix bound to the inside end of the fiber, like the follicle of a hair. It is photopolymerized onto the end of the optical fiber from a precursor solution of polyethylene glycol, a biocompatible hydrogel that allows analytes such as glucose to diffuse freely through it. Bound into this matrix are two different assay molecules that combine to each other but can be displaced by the analyte depending on its concentration. For glucose, we use concanavalin A and betacyclodextrin. The two assay molecules each carry a different fluorescent dye. The emission wavelength of one corresponds to the absorption wavelength of the other. When two such fluorophores are separated by less than a few nanometers, emissions from the first are transferred to the second rather than emitted themselves. This process is called fluorescence resonance energy transfer, or FRET. As the concentration of glucose in the interstitial fluid increases, it diffuses into the matrix where it displaces the binding of the assay molecules. This separates their fluorophores so that the emissions of the first are no longer absorbed by FRET, but instead can be collected by the optical fiber. The external reader measures the relative intensity of fluorescence from each of the two fluorophores. The ratio indicates what percentage of the assay molecules have been displaced by the glucose, and therefore the concentration of the glucose. Sensils can be configured for a variety of analytes. They can be mass-produced at low cost and injected and used by patients themselves to provide close monitoring and precise treatment of a wide range of clinical problems.